Hello, everyone. Today, I'm very excited about our 15th interview from the Tucson's Interview Series Workshop Talks. I'm Jennifer, and I'm responsible for communication at Tucson's. And our guest today is Bruce Bushard, CEO at USA Clean. And then, of course, I would like to introduce Alexander Manavi, CEO and co-founder of Tucson's. Mr. Bushard, perhaps you could tell us a few sentences about yourself, USA Clean, and the Armor IoT hardware. Um, I started out cleaning carpets um, and traveled state to state, and I learned a lot about um, cleaning, and I mostly learned about machines. And then um, after a number of years of cleaning, I get into fixing machines, and so we love um, knowing our machines, and, and we put together a network of service providers, 600 technicians across the United States, an asset database that helps us track those things. And then one thing led to another, and then we ended up with um, Armor to help us, through telemetry, um, provide another level of tracking. Thank you very much. Then we already come to our first question. Mr. Bushard, how did you get first in touch with Alexander and Toolsense? Well, I heard, some, I heard some rumors about Toolsense bouncing around the industry. I know everybody in the industry, it seems, in our little space. And then I'm like, who is Toolsense? And so then... Um, one of our, our customers, Aramark, said, you got to talk to Alex. And so um, the rest is history. <laughs> I, I quote, yeah, we're making history, aren't we? That sounds good. Alexander, can you tell me more about what you see in Armor IoT and why you decided for a partnership? Where do you see the value at? So for us, um, I mean meeting Bruce and his team has really been um, fantastic and a great experience. And to me, it's also super, super fascinating. Um, how, the history of Bruce and USA Clean in the States and, and how well he knows the industry and um, yeah, and, and everybody around it there. And for us, um, when you look at Arma, it's just a really awesome um, IoT device that's basically built uh, from within the industry. And um, very user friendly and 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 easy to use and basically um, uh, Bruce uh, Bruce always uh, says it's really about um, a couple of data points and delivering them the right way and making them actionable and um, I think that's where they are really uh, where Arma IoT is really great at um, and then it's also um, about the the know how in the industry and the experience and then also about um, the technician network really that USA Clean has. So when it comes uh, to the to the um, to installing the IoT hardware and, and servicing it, etc. So that's of course um, really awesome that USA Clean has more than six hundred uh, technicians in the in the US. So that's a great value add um, for the customer and and to really help them bring them into the field. And also of course what uh, Bruce mentioned uh, what's a great value add is the asset intelligence database that USA Clean has built up over years and all the information they have about the machines and, and spare parts and how to use them properly, how to maintain it. So all of that makes up a really nice mix. And Mr. Bushard, why did you decide for a partnership with Toolsense? Where do you see the value add that Toolsense can bring to Armor IoT? I, I think um, Alex has assembled a really good team of of, of coders and, and, and people thinking about the space uh, in so many similar and parallel ways with us. Um, Toolsense has is, 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 is got a powerful position to enter other verticals and other customers. And, and um, I, I, think our, I think our capabilities come together very nicely. I don't know that we duplicate a lot of what each other does, but more complement. And so I think one of the most important things in technology is to go fast. And, um, you know, to join forces lets us go much faster than independently. Yeah, that sounds promising. Mr. Bushard, what is your vision for the partnership with Toolsense? I, I think um, here again, go fast. So um, the vision is, is for us to penetrate more markets um, to, to not just janitorial, but, but anything that, that needs machines measured and tracked. Um, so my vision is that we come together and, and utilize our strengths and then join them so that it provides a, a much more holistic offering to the customer to make us more 
sticky to the customer, so they want to stay with us and come back. Um, in, in, in corporate America, which we spend a lot of time, I've grown up there, um, you know, they want something that's going to solve more problems than just a single problem. So the more we can bring to the table together to, to create a bigger solution, the more attractive we are to the customer and the more that we're going to have customer retention and, and satisfaction. And maybe now the question directed to Alexander, what is your vision for the partnership? So I think, um, and, and I think probably also Bruce um, agrees with me there that um, really the time has come in the facility management and facility service industry the, where IoT and, and like digitization in general is really like um, starting to take up pace. And the opportunity is also really big because when you look, for example, at the construction, construction also is very early. So there's like 10% of all construction equipment out there is digitized right now. Um, all, I mean, 90% is not digitized yet. So this is also a huge opportunity. But when you look at facility management, like the number of machines is enormous and the percentage is so much smaller. Um, so we're talking really um, about way, way, way below 1% of even um, that where the equipment is being digitized. So the most of the... Um, the equipment out there is just is still offline and it's, uh, uh, it's not yet digitized and so are the processes around it. So the opportunity is definitely there and we see also that rising cost pressure now and inflation are starting to add up. And um, if, uh, if um, as a team, as a partnership, we can help uh, save the facility management industry, help them save um, cost and and make help make, help them to um, yeah become even more efficient. Then really now is the time for that. Um, so yeah, the our 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 goal with this uh, partnership is to deliver um, a more complete solution, being able to deliver it also faster with um, with uh, the with basically the the six hundred uh, more than six hundred technicians. Um, that uh, USA Clean has in the field today um, and with Armour together. Um, so deliver more value, deliver it faster and uh, deliver it even more user-friendly. That's for us the, the goal. I think I'd like to add to you, I'd like to add to if, if it's okay, to, to what you're saying there, Alex. Um, so corporate America, I, I've operated corporate America since college, many, many years. Um, and there's 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 always been the need to there's always been a need to organize, but everybody has made so much money relatively easily that that the organization piece is the, is is like kind of lost. And the people love to talk about it, and people love to go on a whiteboard and, and dream the dreams. And we can tell some really good stories. But the thing that's really cool is people are actually putting budgets together. They're making IoT departments. They're making innovation departments and, and, and leaders that, that have budgets to spend on, on these kind of things, realizing there's a huge ROI return on their investment of, of coming together with us. So the time, I don't think the time could be any better than it is today. It's a real explosive opportunity in the marketplace. And Mr. Bushard, where do you see the status quo of digitalization in the facility management industry? And what do you think would change in the next 10 years? Um, status quo is in where do we stand today? In, 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 so I only know uh, the United States and uh, here again, I think it's the same theme is everybody wants to, um, everybody wants to have robots, everybody, and we do a lot of robot repairs and installations and everybody wants to have IOT and, but, but people are, um, they're kind of sloppy about it, but I, I think we can bring a, a cohesiveness right now in America, there's not a lot of um, order <laughs> when it comes to assets and asset tracking. So the status quo is is confusion, which um, we like confusion because because um, we're here to help. And at a time like this, when when um, inflation is there, we got to look for more money. And corporate America is tightening their belts. Um, they, I think, they're going to be really uh, excited to spend money with us. To save money, uh, we have to prove that very, very um, carefully. But we can and we will. So in the next ten years, I think the organizations, the, the, everyone who has machines in the next ten years, I think the only ones that are really going to survive and win are those that do use what we're bringing to the market.
I think other people will fall behind and find out that uh, they missed it. So I, I think we can't go fast enough to help everybody get organized. That sounds good. Alexander, would you like to add anything here? I mean, I, I fully agree um, with Bruce and I really like the, what he what he like what he says with um, that you have to spend money to to save money but the opportunities is so much bigger than that's it is the 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 relatively small invest that you have to make for that so so that's that's great and yeah i think the what's also very important is uh, to to be open in order to really yeah um, fulfill this potential that's out there and um to to not so basically because also what we see what a lot of uh, companies try to do is like like silo and this is mine and this is that and really not open up and so i think what's very important now in the in the next uh, in the next couple of years and that's also what what we are doing together with bruce is really opening up and complement and create win-win situations um and especially in in terms of digitization i think that's very critical i forgot to show armor yeah that's that's armor, yeah. You just Great. pop it on a machine and it tells you what's going on. So <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> okay, then we already reached the end. Thank you very much for this exciting exchange. I was very pleased that you, Mr. Bushard, were here today, and perhaps we will hear from you again very soon. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>